Hey, everyone. Welcome back to another SpaceX update video. We've got some exciting updates to share today, so without further ado, let's dive into the video. First up, Starship S26 has finally been unhooked and released from the crane at suborbital pad B. There's a possible road closure scheduled for Monday, which we believe might be for either a spin prime or static fire test on S26. S26 is the first flapless Starship prototype, and it's speculated to be the next candidate for flight after the upcoming second integrated flight test 2, which is just about a month away. In case you missed it, S25 had been de-stacked from Booster 9, possibly to protect the full stack from the shockwaves generated from the upcoming static fire test on S26 or due to weather concerns. Nevertheless, until SpaceX secures the launch license, we shouldn't expect any testing or action on B9 and S25. Yesterday was a day packed with action in the space industry. Earlier in the day, Virgin Galactic successfully completed its fifth commercial spaceflight with Spaceship 2, also known as the Galactic 4 mission. This mission, launched on October 6, 2023, from Spaceport America in New Mexico, carried three passengers and two pilots, including Namra Saleem, who became the first Pakistani to venture into space. The mission was a resounding success and marked yet another milestone for Virgin Galactic. It was their fifth successful spaceflight in just five months, reaffirming the safety and reliability of their system. Virgin Galactic's Galactic 4 mission represents a significant stride towards making space tourism a reality. Meanwhile, United Launch Alliance launched its third mission of the year, marking the 99th Atlas V mission overall. On board the rocket was Amazon's first two prototype satellites for its Kuiper Broadband constellation. Amazon later confirmed that these satellites successfully reached orbit, embarking on a months-long series of tests to validate their system design and network performance. Hours later, PLD Space, a Spanish aerospace company, accomplished a groundbreaking feat by launching the first private European rocket, Mayura 1. The launch occurred at 2.19 Central European time on Saturday, October 7, from the El Arenasillo Experimentation Center in Spain. This launch holds historical significance for Spain and Europe as a whole. Mayura 1, a suborbital rocket capable of reaching altitudes exceeding 100 kilometers, is also reusable, enabling multiple launches. The mission, lasting 306 seconds, saw Mayura 1 reach an apogee of 46 kilometers before splashing down in the Atlantic Ocean. PLD Space will now proceed with recovery efforts and analyze the mission data. The company plans to share all the data obtained during this inaugural flight test of Mayura 1 with the public. This achievement paves the way for the development of the Miura 5 orbital launcher, with the information from this flight validating up to 70% of the design and technology that will be utilized in Miura 5. That wraps up this short update video for now. Thank you for tuning in, and I look forward to sharing more exciting news in the next video.